Hi, this is Tammy, and I do math for coffee, and we are continuing with our geometry lessons. Today, I'm going to talk about angle pairs. These are the angle pairs we're going to be going over today. I'm going to draw them all out. Let's start by making a right angle. You know it's a right angle if it's marked with that, or they tell you it's a right angle in text, but usually you're going to see it like that. And these are lines, so they're going forever. And I'm going to throw in a ray. An array has an initial point and goes in forever in one direction, but I don't want to split this exactly in half. I'm just kind of putting it in here. Looks like this. I'm going to add some points. P, Q, S and R. We've got several angles on here that I need to talk about, so I am going to color code. I've got an angle here. I have another angle on this side. So there's two angles right there, but the entire, if I were to put both of those together, like an angle addition, if we added those together, even if we don't know exactly what they are, we do know what they add up to. These two angles together are going to be 90 degrees. Agreed? So now let's put some notation in here. Once you have the big idea of it, the notation is like you're learning a new language and that's confusing. If I'm talking about the blue angle, I like to color code my notes a lot. It makes it easier to understand diagrams. And if we added it to this, what is that, pink angle? We know that that's going to equal 90 degrees. Now, so now let me put the notation in here. The blue angle is P, Q, R. Q is the vertex of that angle right here. So you have to put that in the middle. The notation for measurement is to put a small case M, put an angle symbol, P, Q, R. The pink angle. It can, you, I could have started with here and done R, Q, S, too, talking about that blue angle. The P and the R can be switched, but the Q has to be in the middle. So for this pink angle, you can go R, Q, S, or you can say S, Q, R. I'll start with R. Plus the measure of angle R, Q, S equals 90 degrees. Now this is in text. Obviously, if you're reading a book, it's not going to be highlighted like that, but you could highlight it. So if these two angles add up to 90 degrees, we call them complementary angles. Make sure you spell it right. If you use an I, you're talking about giving someone a compliment. But if you're talking about two things that complete each other. <laughs> you complete me. Uh, it's not exactly like that either. Complementary. Please be nice if I spell things wrong. Complementary. I always do make spelling mistakes. Oh, a point about complementary angles is they don't need to be next to each other like this. This is the easiest way to teach it, but complementary angles could be split apart. So if I had an angle over here that was 30 degrees, and this guy, another one over here, let's just say 60 degrees, these two would also be called complementary angles because 30 plus 60 is 90. They don't need to be right next to each other. They don't have to share a side. We'll talk about that, what that means in a second. That's adjacent if that's the case, but these are complementary angles too. All right, let's go to supplementary. to draw supplementary angles. Again, they don't have to be right next to each other, but this is the easiest way to think about it. So you start by drawing a straight angle, which looks like a straight line, but if we were going to measure it, it would be 180 degrees. Then you add a ray 
and put it anywhere you want to. It can point in any direction. And then we have a smaller angle here. And we have a medium size angle here. And then we do have the whole thing, which we know is the yellow angle is 180 degrees. I gotta put some points on here so we can fill out the notation. We'll put an A here. Let's put a B there. A C here. And a D up there. So now I'm gonna just fill it out with the notation. You don't need to know what the angles actually are to know that they are supplementary. If you see a straight line in a geometry diagram, you can assume it's a straight line, and that is that means you're making a 180 degree angle if you're talking about angles. So we have, again, we have a medium plus the teeniest angle, and we know that's going to equal 180 degrees. That's These are called supplementary angles, but I'm going to put the terminology on that because we're still probably learning how that works. Okay, the blue angle, go, B is the vertex, so you can go A, B, D, or you can say D, B, A. Most people are probably going to go like this, so you put the small case M because we're talking about the measure of it. it. Adds up to 180 degrees, and the angle is A, B, D. The measure of angle D, B, C, these two together add up to 180 degrees. Now this little notation means measurement. I should have done it on the first one, but I'll do it here. If we're going to just talk about the angles by name, we would say angle without the little m, just the angle sign, A, B, D and angle DBC are supplementary. And I could have said the same thing up here. I could have said angle, not with the little m's, I could have wrote down angle PQR and angle RQS are complementary. That's how you talk about them by name, but if you're talking about how big they are, you put the little M on there, so we're talking about when numbers come in. Now, people do get these confused, and you do need to memorize them. C to S, put them in alphabetical order, 9180, put them in numerical order, and they match up that way. A visual of what I just said is that I would go C, 90 degrees, I'd put this on the board, S, 180. That's how I memorized them and that's how my students in class memorized it. Adjacent angles are next to each other. Adjacent, if you live in a house, there's a house next to you. If you live in an apartment, there's an apartment next to you. They are adjacent. Adjacent neighbors live next to each other. Adjacent angles live next to each other too. They share a side. If I were going to draw adjacent angles and I didn't want to make them, you know, complementary or supplementary or something, it would just be something that kind of looks like this. These are adjacent angles and they share this side. So complementary angles that are right next to each other can be adjacent. Supplementary angles that are right next to each other can be adjacent as well. Vertical angles. vertical. Can't lie, these are one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, vertical angles, the visual probably explains it more so than words. Vertical angles are across from each other, and what I mean by that is that these two angles are vertical. They're vertically across from each other. And that, if you understand the word vertical, that makes sense because they're up and down, right? But it, of course, in math, it has to be a little more confusing. These two angles 
are also <laughs> vertical angles even though they're across from each other horizontally. So vertical angles are across from each other. You can always go like this too. And now these guys are vertical and these guys are horizontal. Vertical angles are across from each other and are congruent. That's the right word but means the same size. Oopsie. Same size. All right, so if this right here was 60 degrees, this one would be 60 degrees. Now, if you think ahead here a little bit, if you look at this one, this 60 degree angle is making a straight line with this angle. So we know they're supplementary and that's going to add up to 180. So this one must be uh, 120. Since these two are equal, this would be 120. We have done complementary, supplementary, adjacent, and vertical. We've got one more term that I need to define for you. And it's going to be kind of a combination of two things. And that's called linear pair. And this is going to feel repetitive, but it is a term you have to know. The root of linear pair is this right here, where it says line. So a linear pair is two angles that are adjacent and supplementary. Okay, so you already drew them. I just didn't tell you that that also means linear pair. I'm gonna just draw it a little different. So you see two angles that look like this? This is a linear pair because they make a straight line when you add them together. I'm gonna to put some to this one here plus that one there. They make a linear pair because they make this straight line, which means it adds up to 180. I know, it's just another phrase for it. Let's put some points in here. Because you gotta learn language. So which letter should we use? Uh, M, N, P, I like Q. All right, so the notation here is that I'm not going to do the measurements. I'm talking about the angles. Angle M N Q M N Q and angle P N Q R A linear pair. I forgot the I. Squish it in. All right, let's head over to the computer and do some problems. You will be checked on some vocabulary. So something like this, pretty straightforward. Just name the relationship when you look at this diagram. Are you talking about complementary, linear pair, vertical, or adjacent? You have to choose the best answer. Notice supplementary is not in there. That's because they don't want you to get that confused with the, the correct answer, which is linear pair. If you say adjacent, adjacent is not false. It's just not the best answer because linear pair is better. All right, look at that diagram. Choose the best answer, complementary, linear pair, vertical, or adjacent. Some people are gonna to wanna to say complementary, I think, but there's no indication here that that's a right angle. So the best we can say is that they share a side, so the correct answer is adjacent. Complementary, linear pair, vertical, or adjacent. You see the right angle, so there is your big clue. It's not a linear pair. They're not vertical. They're not across from each other. They are adjacent, but the best answer is complementary. All right, complementary, linear pair, vertical, or adjacent. That's vertical. 
All right, now we get to do some math. Now, even if you forget the vocabulary, you, if you do when you get quizzed on the vocab, you're going to get them wrong, but you can still get the math right if you remember what things are when you look at the diagram. You're supposed to find the measure of angle B. Well, angle B is right next to an angle that says 78 degrees, and the two of them together make a straight line. So they will add up to 180 degrees. Just subtract the 78 from 180, and we get an answer of 102. B is vertical to 40. Pretty easy. There's not much math to do. Vertical angles are congruent, which means they have the same measure. So we've got 40 degrees. Find the measure of angle B. Angle B and 68 degrees add up to 90 degrees, so we're just going to subtract, and we get 22 degrees. I threw this one in here because this is where problems like this will usually show up in a class on a test or a quiz, but these are not angle pairs. What's going on here is I have three angles, and one of them is missing, and you're supposed to figure it out. People are going to assume that you know that an entire circle is 360. That's how you approach this. So B plus 38 plus the 298 is supposed to equal 360. So let's combine these two numbers on the side. B plus 336 equals 360. Subtract the 336 from both sides, and we get 24, and that is the correct answer. All right, these are going to jump into being something kind of algebraically pretty quickly. Find the value of x. You have to use what you know about geometry to set up an equation. Well, what I've got here are two angles that when you put them together add up to a straight line. So if you added those two together, you would get 180. There's the equation. That's the end of the geometry. Now you have to be able to do algebra. Let's subtract 64 from both sides, and we get 4x equals 116. Divide the 116 by 4, we get x equals 29. These two angles, you have to know the relationship between them. They're the only two angles you've got in this whole diagram. Something's got to go on here. Process of elimination, they're not right next to each other, so adding them together doesn't make any sense. You won't know what they would equal. You can't say they would add up to equal anything, but they're vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent, which means they are equal. Right here, vertical angles. That means the 48 equals the 5x plus 3. So that's the equation you start with. End of the geometry, now you do the algebra, you subtract 3 from both sides, you get 5x equals 45, and divide by 5, we get x equals 9. These two angles are adjacent, they share a side. Their 90 degree mark is right here, which means they're complementary, which means they add up to 90 degrees. So I'm not gonna make them equal to each other this time. I'm gonna add them together and set it equal to 90 degrees. All right, now we need to combine these numbers. We get 5x plus 50 equals 90. Subtract the 50 from both sides, and then divide by five, we get x equals eight. I hope you got that. Try this one. This is all going to add up to be one big circle. That's going to be 360. So if I add all those things together, now we need to combine some terms here and see what we got. Well, they got the positive 29 here and the minus 29 there, and they're on the same side of the equation, so they cancel each other out. You have 5x and an x. That is 6x, and that equals 360. Divide both sides by 6. x equals 60. Now, if they wanted you to actually figure out what any of these angles were, you would take your x and plug it back in. I didn't do that on this. If you missed the last lesson, I'm going to put a link to it here. If you're ready for the next one, here is that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.